This could start World War III. And it will destroy North Korea in just 60 seconds. Donald Trump could destroy North Korea in just 60 seconds with this terrifying tool constantly at his side while he tours Asia. Trump has at his fingertips one of the largest nuclear arsenals in the world with nearly 7,000 in the stockpile of the U.S. military. And these weapons are all just one call away using the U.S. president's emergency satchel. The so-called nuclear football, traveling across Asia with his entourage over the next week. Trump will have this devastating tool with an arm's reach at all times, carried dutifully by a soldier. The leather case weighs 20 kilograms and contains the nuclear gold codes, detailing plans for a strike on counter-strike. Nuclear war tensions have reached new highs this year as the U.S. squares up to North Korea while China and Russia nervously watch on. Should the crisis go south while Trump meets with Japanese leader Shinzo Abe today? This is what will happen. His military aide will pop open the case and the U.S. president will have just moments to study the documents before either confirming or forbidding a nuclear strike. Once Trump decides to send the nuclear codes, ICBM crews will be ready to launch the nukes in just 60 seconds. And chillingly, once the U.S. president gives the order, there is no one in the world who has the authority to stop him. Nuclear missiles will then fly from their secretive silos and turn North Korea into an uninhabitable wasteland. However, a nuclear strike by the U.S. would likely trigger responses from China and Russia. NATO would then react, including Britain, and a counter-strike would follow, spiraling into a brief, bloody and civilization-ending World War III. This horrifying scenario is exactly why politicians and scientists are campaigning for the power of the U.S. president to be restricted. Trump and North Korea's war of words has reached a knife edge and one wrong move could spark something that could take the world to Armageddon. The U.S. president's seemingly erratic and unpredictable behavior, promising to totally destroy Kim and pledging fire and fury, has left the world teetering. He even allegedly demanded a tenfold increase the U.S.'s already massive arsenal. Something Trump later denied as fake news. Derek Johnson, executive director of Global Zero, a campaign group against nukes, said, The public must come to grips with the gravity of this crisis. 2. We've got two nuclear-armed egomaniacs facing off, and no reason to expect cooler heads will prevail. He added, When Trump promises fire and fury, Remember he has unfettered authority to make good on the threat. The nuclear briefcase follows him everywhere. At any moment he can pick up the phone and order a nuclear strike. The system designed to execute that order was built for blind deference and speed. We shouldn't pin any hopes on having an adult in the room. Democrats in the U.S. Congress are also campaigning to get Trump's nuclear powers reduced tabling a bill to remove his absolute authority. Senator Chris Murphy warned a mistake by Trump could kill hundreds of thousands, and along with Senators Brian Schatz and Cory Booker they want to curb the U.S. president's war powers. He said on Twitter, for all the Republicans breaking with Trump, here is your chance to actually constrain his most dangerous power, to make war. Tensions have reached new highs this year as Kim refuses to give up his quest for nuclear weapons despite pressure from the UN.